What a perfect day for football we've got here. I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith, as usual, alongside me to provide the analysis. The game has all the elements, really, to excite us, and I'm sure it will live up to the billing. Birmingham City against Coventry City. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. And we're away for the game. First half started by Birmingham City. Birmingham City, this is their lineup. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape, it's the one that the manager prefers. Coventry City go like this today. But we put it up as a 5 2 3. It could be 3 4 3, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those, it could be anything the manager wants it to be. He has got some very talented lads out there, though. Could be his game today, the way he's been playing recently. Three in his last three games. His teammates will be looking to him again here. Cut out the pass. That's an easy cutout for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Surely he must score! That's a good stop from the goalkeeper. One of their better passes, and he's given it away here. Well, he's got away from him. On the attack here. And he's dealt with it, that dangerous moment. Stolen the ball in the attacking third, too. Going to be a throw here. Darbo, Walsh, Rose. Darbo. Read the intentions. Just a mistake, really. He's not even asked too much of the opponent. It's just a mishit pass. McCallum. His teammates have recognised the potential of this attack. Kelly. Encouraging play from this team now. Keeping the ball. Well defended. Not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. Must take the lead here. Oh, struck the post! Yeah, look at that, virtually even Stevens. It's very difficult to separate these two sides, both for possession and chance. That's something for him to chase. Oh, it's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Now Kelly. Walsh. Chance to get forward from the wing. Nothing wrong with the industry of the team. That little bit of inspiration lacking that they need to get their noses in front. Rose. Now, can they move on from this wide area where there is room? The men in the middle frustrated because that cross has gone straight behind. I just wonder... Whether the occasion's getting the better of them, we really expected a bit more so far. Well, if you don't shoot, you don't score, and he just hasn't had the courage, perhaps, to let fly enough. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. It will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Letting the shot go! Well, we're halfway through. 
And we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half-time. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. Cuts it out nicely. Saw that coming and intercepted. Terrific tackle. McCallum. Kelly. Trying to run off the shoulder of the last player, offside. That is a weakness in his game. Gets caught offside too many times. Manager won't be too happy with that. Gardner. An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. Walsh. Darbo. Now Kelly. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. A great chance to go in front. Very good stop here. Corner's taken. Got to get it over the first man defending, and they haven't... And they've scored! And they've opened the scoring here. Well, I could watch this one all day, and I'm sure he could. The way he opens up his body, the volley, it was all perfect. Birmingham City with the lead, then. A goal for City! Number 10... Lucas Djokovic. Dabo. Walsh. Now, I think we've seen it. The visitors controlling possession. But I've been a bit disappointed with them so far, as we've uh, shown they've had a lot. Guiding it through the defenders. Intercepted well. And the away team want to make a change. McCallum, now Kelly. Kelly, Rose, now Kelly. Impressive, in possession, passing's good, possibly dangerous. Trying to get the ball in behind. Bit of a sprint for the goalkeeper, but he made it. But he's better than that. It's a poor pass. Has to be! He's done well to block that. Guided through. Got to do better than that, really, to beat the keeper. Yeah, because he is a good goalkeeper. Good positioning. That's Birmingham's corner. Swung in from the corner. It was a chance, really, of getting into a scoring position then, but anything but. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Walsh, well, just over 84 minutes gone. Six minutes left on my watch. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. Spotted that well and intercepted. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the Rose, match. Rose, Darbo, Walsh, Zukovic. now Kelly.
Up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Here's a chance! He's definitely got his goal touch with him today, hasn't he? The first was a decent one. Here's the second. And still time for more to come. Bit of good fortune, but for the keeper, couldn't do a lot to stop it. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Well, we're down to the last minute here. So a reasonably comfortable margin of victory. The final whistle has gone, the game is finished, and the final score is 2-0. Well, they've got their whole package here, haven't they? They put this game on to try and get a bit of a feel-good factor in the camp, and the result has done that, and the way they've gone about their work. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you'd never like to emphasise the necessity to win, but it's always nice, it's always a bonus when you do, particularly when you've got a bit more match practice for your players.